what we're going to do is we're going to start with a mass of white. We're going to start with a mass of white. Enough white to do maybe about half of the space that is going to be this grass. So that looks like it's about right. Now, now this is for me. Your, pa your pa uh, canvas is a little different in size. So, um, so we have the white. Now I'm going to take some yellow ochre. Not a lot of yellow ochre. Just a little touch of yellow ochre. And now I'm going to take just a touch of this dark green. Okay? And I'm going to take a little touch of this, a very, very small touch of... I'm, I'm making oil slicks over here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm making oil slicks. Got that a little bit darker than I wanted it. So I have a little touch of yellow ochre in there, a little touch of the red, and I'm going to take a little touch of turquoise, the dark transparent red. Okay, background, I like it, but I want a little bit more yellow ochre with it. So I'm going to leave that section right there, and I'm going to go to the side. Maybe you should all watch me right now. Okay? When we do grass like this, every time you go to the palette, I'm going to want you to change your color just a little bit. Okay, now here's my pool. I'm going to take a touch of turquoise, a little more red this time, and I'm going to put it in here. A little bit more turquoise this time, a little more red right here. A little more red. Boom. Now we've got this area over here. I'm going to make this a little lighter with a little more turquoise. This is going to be my grass over here. White, yellow ochre into that pool. White, yellow ochre. More yellow ochre. Now just watch how this develops. I'm changing my color every time I go to the palette. Now, for the first time, I'm going to go to the emerald green. I'm going to go to some emerald green here. More yellow ochre. Some raw sienna. Touch of orange. Now I'm going to go to a little bit more of the turquoise there. Now, go back to the white. Yellow ochre, emerald green. I'm getting in front of what's going to become a tree eventually. I'm getting close to that. And you need a good amount of, you have to have a brush that's fairly well loaded now. You have to have a brush that's got a good amount of paint on it. This is where you're going to want to get more texture in your painting. Okay. Now, yellow ochre, emerald green, a little touch of burnt sienna this time. Well, the main earth, we've got three earth colors, yellow ochre, raw sienna, burnt sienna. And what we're doing is we're using each of these earth colors, green, and something is happening automatically, and that is my greens are getting warmer. My green... Warmer as you come. Yes, they're getting warmer, and they're getting to be a more natural green. More natural, more natural. The texture that we're putting down. Now, I stop what you're doing and just look up here. And this is the magic stroke. All right? 
the bristles of my brush are going away from the handle. They're pointing out this way. I have been applying the paint going against the bristles of the brush. You see that? This is going with the bristle of the brush. And this is going against the bristle of the brush. Watch this brush stroke. This is the magic brush stroke right here, going against the bristle of the brush. And what happens is the paintbrush creates the grass for you. Right? This is flat. I've rotated up on the corner of my brush if my brush had a corner. But the Filbert's brush does not have a corner. I've rotated up on what would be the corner if it had a corner, and I'm going against that corner with a zigzaggy up and down stroke. The texture of what I just laid in here, and you will see that there are single hair details in various spots. Now I'm going to let you mash your color in, pull you the blending with that magic stroke that I'm going to be doing here. Okay? So I'm going to give you a few minutes to get your grass, get that entire grass area covered with paint and use a good amount of paint. I'm going to now throw a little extra color in here and I just want you to watch how I do this. I'm going to take a little stronger of this cool red in there just for the variation. I'm going to take a little stronger of the turquoise over here for the variation. Maybe a little, little bit more down here just to get that variation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften this edge by reaching up and drawing down. Reaching up and drawing down as I go against the bristle of the brush. This is not a dab. I'm softening that edge. See how that edge softens? That soft edge is very important. Softening that edge. Now, if you want a little variation, I'm going to show a little variation here by taking a little touch of orange in there. So I'm not, I'm not quite so concerned about the individual blades of grass yet. Here's a nice place to put a nice light warm color because that's going to, this is going to be the shadow side of our tree. So now I'm coming a little closer. I'm not doing the magic stroke quite so much. I'm blending, doing a little bit of blending. I don't, I'm not quite so interested in the individual nature of the blades of grass yet. I'm, I'm reaching up and pulling down just slightly. Now I have gotten into an area where I'm ready to start doing. Now I want you to notice the, what I call the renegade bristles. These are renegade bristles that I'm now going against the bristle of the brush and renegade bristles are starting to show their effect I'm going against the bristle of the brush. Light. I'm not, I'm putting almost no pressure on the paint that's already there. I'm kind of cruising over the top of it. Uh -huh. A dark, rich color on one corner. And it was, it's usually the highlight corner of a painting. Now into that dark, I'm going to put some of this cadmium red light, which will warm that up just a little bit. Dark, pop it, and then if you want, you